hate to disappoint all of you. All your dreams, all your hopes. But in today's speech is not going to enhance your dreams. It's, gonna, it's not going to stop making you feel hungry. It's not going to give you information about how to save a person's life. Well, it's not going to get you attracted to a opposite sex. Well, but if I'm going to talk about your inner child, would you like to listen to what I'm about to tell you? Yes. 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 Good evening, the Toastmasters. And yes. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Every day, I get up just to wonder what life has to provide me. When I was younger, I used to wonder, why is the sky blue? Why does it start twinkle? And why am I me? Well, the word is curiosity. That is what is lacking nowadays in each and every one of you. Well, have you heard of the phrase, curiosity kill the cat? Yes. So, you know how this phase came into game? There was a cat and there was a burning flame. The cat moved slowly to the flame. It felt warm and comfortable. But as it went closer, it fell into the fire. But what do you guys know about cats? The cats have nine lives. Yes, curiosity did kill the cat. Satisfaction brought it out. Albert Einstein once said, I have no natural talent, but I am curious. I'd like to say, have you seen dogs and their pets as pets? They move around, they sniff at each and everything around you. They sniff at trees, they sniff at cars, and then they walk away. But we human beings, we go around, we look at things, we touch, we smell, we feel. But later, we just think how, when, where do these things come from. We are curious species. How do human beings become curious? It's because of one single genetic trait. It's called neoteny. Neoteny is the thing which makes us playful, which makes us curious. I will move on. The world is a vicious, uncertain, complex and ambiguous place. In other words, it's a VUCA world. Have any of you heard the term VUCA? Yes. To uh, overcome this VUCA world, again volatile, uncertain, complex and ambiguous, we have our superpower, like Superman. Superman has his superpower, super strength, on one hand, but he too has a weakness, kryptonite. Now, Superman, like he has super strength, we do have our superpower, curiosity. But we do have our weakness, our thoughts. What do our thoughts say when we want to start something new? I can't do it. I'm not musically talented. I'm not curious enough. I'm not gifted. These are your thoughts speaking. Like every weakness, we must not be overcome by our weaknesses. Well, curiosity is supposed to be developed. It has to be nurtured, else it will be forgotten. Now, there are different ways to, um, to overcome thoughts. I give you three ways in which you can bring back the curiosity which you had once in your childhood. Number one, keep an open mind. Never have your thoughts cloud your judgment. 
Number two, be free, be open, question each and everything. Why, when, how, who? Number three, be happy. Stay as positive as you can. Look for solutions.